this one we are looking particular at what's called particle theory. Now, one of the things we need to think about is how these things are arranged. So I'm going to get here my old friend Albert Einstein to help us. So, there's Albert. Very famous. Shows on his t-shirt the uh, equation E equals mc squared. So, he says, what is this particle theory? Well, he's a perfect person to ask, isn't he, really? It's actually very easy, just about energy and how particles are arranged. So, two things, energy, okay, and how particles are arranged, the arrangement of particles. So, let's have a look now at the arrangement of particles in three states. The three states are solids, liquids, and gases. We're going to compare how the particles are arranged and also their energy levels. So, let's start with solids. Now here we have, um, this is a classic diagram here, if you ever asked to draw a diagram of particles and solid, this is exactly what you draw here. So look at the arrangement. Arrang solids have a fixed shape and cannot move. So solids are solids. They are fixed and they cannot move. And also they have the least energy. Of the three states of least energy, look at examples, you've got steel, plastic, wood. These are all examples here of solids. Now here's the liquids. Now liquids, the particles are close together but they can flow. Key thing is they can flow and take the shape of the container bottom. What do you mean by that is, say you've got here a, um, a beaker like this, okay? And if you pour a liquid into it, the particles arrange themselves at the bottom of the beaker. This is a very, very poor diagram. Okay, but yours would be much better. But when you draw a diagram of a liquid in a container, don't forget it always goes to the bottom and there are no spaces between the particles. So liquids can flow, take the shape of the container bottom, and they have got, because they're moving around, they've actually got more energy than solids. So liquids have got more energy than solids. Examples are water, mercury, which is the only liquid metal, and oil. Lastly, let's think about gases. So gases, now here, the particles are free to move. The particles move and completely fill their container. So suggest, um, same again, so we have a beaker perhaps like this, okay? That's better, isn't it? And you pour gas in there and you put a lid on it, okay? The particles will completely fill their container, okay? They move around and fill like this, okay? So gas particles move, completely fill their container, and gas particles have the most energy. And examples are air, halogen, and oxygen. So if you think about um, energy content, we go from least energy here to most energy down here, okay? Have a little arrow going this way like this. So least energy is in solids, then you've got liquids, and most energy is in gases. Okay, and that's basically it. So all you'll do is think about the three definitions. So solid, having fixed shape and volume, we know that. Liquids flow freely, but the particles remain in contact with each other, as I showed you in the diagram. And lastly, gas has no fixed shape, will take on the shape of the space available. It will fill the container. So make sure now you copy these keywords into your vocabulary sheet. So pause the video at this point and do that. Well, that's the end of this Key Stage 3 science video. Thanks ever so much for watching. I really do hope you like what you see. And if you do like what you see, why not visit my website at www.keystage3sciencecourses.com. There you'll find over 120 science videos you can subscribe to. So, once again, thanks for watching and bye-bye for now.